My name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. So last episode, we increased the durability of my consoles, revised my stationary console. That's right, durability is a thing now, warranties. Um, my stationary console had a huge jump in sales last week for a few reasons. Um, one, the summer slump ended. Two, the revision happened. And three, I changed the warranty from one year to five years. So all those things made for a big jump. Like, look here, there's a little jump. That's the summer slump ending. Big jump up here. 1.3 million a week we're selling right now. We got a couple of games selling really well as well. Space Invasion Defense, 170,000 a week. I think this might be our first 10 million seller. Then we got Super Luchero Bros. 8, selling 145k a week. Pretty good. Currently working on Space Survival 5. It is 80% done, give or take. Uh, no work for our console team, no work for our research team. Everybody else is banging away. And, okay, so support. I'm going to need to add some support here. So, first thing we're going to need is to put a bathroom and a lounge over in this building. How big? I don't want to go that big. Let's just go somewhat small. There's our toilets. Three toilets be enough? Yeah, should be. There's not going to be a whole lot of people working in this building, right? At this point, at least, maybe later there will be. I can expand these later if I have to. All right, so support. I need how many? Well, let's, how big of a room do we need? We got 23 people in there, and it's not enough. Right there, slowly falling behind. So we need a fairly big room. We're going to have more than 23 people in it. That's definitely going to be more than 23 people. Eh, not that much more, though. 30. Yeah, 30 is good. All right, so let's see if we can fill this room. Employee search. Office worker specialist. Lucky. Automatic repeat. And let's cancel this task. Here and move them. Over here. And is there anybody on the market that we could hire to get this started a little faster? There's one. There's one office worker. And they're efficient, though, so we're going to hire them. All right, customer support. Yeah, we got 246,000 unanswered questions. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, let's... Uh, we're going to update for Super Chair Bros. 8 here. Let's take it off pause. Okay, there's one office worker. be nice to get a couple. There we go. We got a couple. So I am going to need to switch to doing the pre-release special marketing pretty soon for Space Survival 5, which I should do now, actually. So let's do that. Let's do the pre-release for the press, and then we will see if it is worth overwrite. Probably. I feel like my last survival game was pretty good. Yeah, 80 to 100. We can definitely overhype that. Infantry Battle is off the market. Let's get hyped. All right. No research. That is done. All right, so let's go back. Looking for some office workers. All-rounder, talented, unlucky. That's three good traits, although all-around doesn't really help for an office worker. I'm going to pass on them. All right, overhype went through. We got interactive story. Do I want to add that to this? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to wait. We're going to wait. Um, what are we doing here? Uh, what kind of game am I going to make next? Do I want to make another tech level three game? What engines are still tech level three? What uh, IPs have I not made a tech level four game for yet? Adventure, build. I've only made one build game, I think. One FPS game. Yeah, most of these have only made one. Ooh, puzzle or fighting we could do. EcoSim. No, we did tech four for EcoSim. Be like a sim game you want to be tech heavy right so we don't want to use old tech for a sim game a puzzle game though i feel like we could get away with so maybe i'll do a puzzle game next i think uh i think that'd be good all right so let's add this feature i mean like i hope it actually matters for this genre because if it doesn't i'm gonna feel pretty silly uh how are you doing people got room for one more person 
All right, continue development. We got to get these bugs out. And oh, all right, so cancel this task. And let's quickly get these bugs out and get this game out. It's been in development for long enough, right? Self distribution, let's go. That's my fifth survival game, so I should be getting pretty decent at them now, in theory. In reality, who knows? No, no, we're pretty good. 98%. That's that's a good game. Last I checked. <laughs> All right, let's do another update for Space Invasion Defense. I want to keep the sales strong on that one. And I just want to double check. Does this puzzle engine at least have the best tech level 3 stuff? If it doesn't, I'm going to get it in there. Okay, it does. Good, good, good. So we can make a sequel. We have a puzzle game. Oh, we do have a puzzle game right now. Rock the Puzzle 8. Hmm. Do I want to do another puzzle game yet? Kind of early. I guess I could do a spin-off or something. I could spin off. What makes sense for a puzzle game? Uh... Satisfactorio? Yeah, Satisfactorio puzzle. <laughs> sure. Uh, triple A. Where are you at, puzzle game? Right there. It is super saturated, but whatever. I just want to get... I want to get another game out for the uh, Lucera Mini, right? This might be the last one I make for it. At tech level three eventually i'm going to revise it up to tech level four at which point you know i can make games for it again but i need to get to that point all right so let's see you for a puzzle game what do we want to set those bottom sliders at i don't remember puzzle off the top of my head 50 10 10 30. all right 50 10 10 30. perfect and oh turn everything on 40 50 so we could technically make this double a but if like another feature comes through you know what let's go double a i'm curious to see this is double a it's only tech level three i want to if it's bad like if, if the review is not good we can blame it on the those factors i feel right probably and i mean it might still be good but it might not there's a very real chance. But, I mean, it's going to be fine. Like, it's not like it's going to be, like, it's not going to have, like, a 60% review score, right? It's just going to be lower than what I'm used to seeing, right? Probably. It's probably going to be, like, mid-80s, if I had to guess. And I could be wrong. It could be over 90. But that's my prediction, as of this point, that it's going to be mid-80s. We'll see. And I'm hoping this customer support queue is starting to move the right way. And also, we can trash this room. And trash this room. And we can add more production here. We can sell this cleaning robot. Oh, actually, no. Let's move the cleaning robot to here. There we go. Ha <laughs> I almost screwed that up. And let's add a production room here. A weirdly shaped production room, but a production room nonetheless all right that's a decent amount of machine so i feel like i could probably get rid of one of these rooms now like i could if i need this space for some form of development room i feel like i could take it the nintendo game portable color is now available competition for the lucera mini which is selling pretty good 400k a week it's not 1.3 million a week admittedly that's still pretty good. So strategy is the trend right now. What is going to be the next trend? Is the question. Real-time strategy, which is the anti-trend right now. And it's going to be 26 more weeks. 32% um, of players have access to the internet. So we can start maybe considering an MMO soon. I feel like we're getting close to the point. Or we could do an MMO. Oh my god, Space Survival 5 is selling really well. Holiday season's coming up soon as well. Ah, it just took a big dip. <laughs> just had to make a liar out of me. 
Just had to make a liar out of me, didn't you? Yeah, 70 to 90 estimate. That's what I thought. All right. Um, there is research to do. Let's get this pre-release for the press first. Engine feature there. This I believe this is the last tech level four engine feature. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. All right, so what are we going to make next? It's going to be tech level four for sure. I don't want to make an RTS yet. Ecosim, I haven't done an Ecosim in a long time. It's not super popular, but it is super unsaturated. The trend is going to change. Yeah, let's do another Ecosim. So let's update the Ecosim engine. The Bunny engine or Tycoon engine, I guess I called it. Yeah, Tycoon engine. Fairbox Pro. We got better graphics, we got better sound, we got better everything. So that'll take a minute to do. So we'll just polish this in the meantime. Actually, shouldn't take too long. There is 33 people in here working on it, right? It's not like I have like four people in there only. And is this number going down? I feel like it is slowly. Yeah, I think it is. All right, so that engine is ready. We can finish development, self-distribution. It is not going to, I doubt it's going to be, it might be over 90%, but just barely if it is. Dance pad support. Oh, apparently you can use the dance pad for a puzzle game. Good to know. Ah, sweet, it is over 90, because that's just, that just means a bigger bonus, right? Because it's 4% for a 90% review score, and only 2% for like in one in the 80s. So, sequel. Where is, what is it, Zoo Tycoon? Or Zoo whatever? Forget what I called it now. Well, it's rated, wait, did I pass it? Yeah, I did. Chef Tycoon, right. I did do Zootopia Tycoon. Let's do Chef Tycoon, though. Um, yeah, we're going to do double A. Chef Tycoon 6. Exclusive. Fairbox Pro. Is that engine right down at the bottom so we're already pros at these we'll be pros with the graphics after this got to learn the sound yet but we're going to be making tech level four games for a while probably because by the time tech level five engine stuff starts coming out by the time we get it all that's when the tech level four screen will come out from a handheld so i'll i will make mix in the odd tech level five game but chances are i'll be mostly making tech level Four games for quite some time. I feel like those are right. I'm going to check though. It's been a minute since I made a, a 50, 10, yeah, 50, 20, 10, 20. It is correct. But it had been a minute since I made an Eco Sim 26 to 40. So technically, I could scale this back to an A size game. But we're not going to do that. We're going to leave it double A. And oh, controller support. Perfect. 60 hype right out of the gate. We will take that. And I think my last Ecosim was actually a pretty good game. Oh, I'm also do some commission work here. And of course, we're going to put all the money in we can. Oh, I should have added cutscenes just so we could have done this. Wait, I think I can add cutscenes on the fly though, right? I know cutscenes aren't important for the genre at this end, but I feel like being able to add them here helps, right? Like, does that make sense? Maybe not. Maybe it's a waste of money. It could very well be, right? But I'm going to put it in anyway. There we go. And there is no research. Apparently, I need some garbage cans down here. And we swept the award. Space Invasion Defense won a couple, which should help its sales. I'm, I'm optimistic this is going to get over $10 million. Oh, advanced 3D graphics. Is that tech level 4 or 5? It is 5. Um, can I throw a couple of uh, trash cans somewhere here? There, that hopefully will help with the garbage issue somewhat. Or are they just waiting for a cleaning robot? Maybe they're just waiting for a cleaning robot. That's possible too. Alright, so let's do a free update for Sass Victorio Puzzle which is selling pretty strongly. Holiday season just hit. Yeah, 
How are my console sales? 1.5 million in the chair box pro, over 500,000 with the chair mini. That's back to nine off the market, made it okay, 7.2, almost 7.3 million sales. Moved almost 1.5 million chair box pros. I'll take it. Breath of the Dragon 9, selling fairly well, or sold fairly well. I guess it's not still. All right, so 17 more weeks in that trend, so it's not time for an RTS yet. Another RPG? Yeah, let's do another RPG. They're pretty reliable, right? I'm pretty confident I can make an RPG that has a review score of 96 or higher at this point. Well, it's been like this for almost the whole run. RPGs have been one of my better genres. Actually, we don't even need to include this. This is tech level five. It's just going to confuse things, right? It's going to, the game's going to try to put it in. Well, I guess I could technically make tech level five games at this point. This does, like, it, no, but that'd be weird, right? Because I was thinking until this bumps up to four, I could make tech level five games for this. But then if I make a sequel later on that's like tech level four, I feel like that'd be bad. So let's just do, let's just stay with tech four for now. I know it's, we're not taking advantage of, you know, my console's full capabilities, but I feel like it's fine. Buy Planes and Tanks 3 with a platinum record. All right, um, let's continue development. Let's get some special marketing. Pre-release of the press. Overhype. And here, let's do an update for Super Chair Bros 8. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty optimistic that Space Invasion Defense is gonna, gonna go diamond this time. Alright, so overhype did not work, unfortunately. That's not the end of the world. Self-distribution, yes, please. Okay, okay, so we're pros with those graphics, learning the sound as we go. <laughs> I'll take a 98. That's a pretty good eco sim, if I'm being honest. All right, so the Breath, Breath of the Dragon 9 is about to come off the market. So let's make Breath of the Dragon 10. Kind of abandoning Fantasy Quester. Ah, Fantasy Quester is a 5 IP, though. I feel like I need to do a Fantasy Quester just to kind of keep the IP fresh, if that makes sense. I think if you don't do a game in the IP for a long time, the IP eventually starts to, like, degrade. Degrade's probably not the right word, but you know what I mean. I think it can go down, the IP value. 40, 30, 15, 15 is where that's supposed to be. Holy crap, 49 to 50. So yeah, quadruple A games are not that far away. At all. Hmm. All right, and high quality graph, X. High quality gameplay. I know that's not what it says, but what it is. Everything else says high quality, right? So I'm just going to go with it. And there is no research. Let's do some high quality marketing as well. <laughs> right there, high quality consoles, well, high quality console commission work and the support queue. No, I'm like, it's still not going down. I feel like it, it's not going up anymore, but it's not going down. I need to make this room even bigger. This is crazy. I mean, I do have over 10 million fans, but Still, right? All right, we can fit a lot more people in there now, but we'll wait. We'll get this typed up first, and then we'll look at finding some people. Oh, no, we lost 15 tech points. What will we ever do? We'll be fine. 15 tech points is kind of trivial, if I'm being honest, right? That doesn't really matter. All right, so employee search, office worker specialist, efficient. Let's go. Apparently, we need, like, another 10 people here. So the queue will actually start going down. And here, let's do an update for Chef the Cone 6. Ooh, in-app purchases. Uh, I am not going to be using in-app purchases. It's gross. Gross, gross, gross. I mean, I'm okay with it in a free-to-play game, but these AAA games... I'm talking about real life right now. 
these triple a games that you pay you know well it's like 80 or 90 canadian dollars like 60 70 american or whatever um and then they have microtransactions gross it's just gross uh 10 more weeks all right so let's make sure this rts engine is updated and ready because we are going to be doing an rts well my marketing team might be wrong uh, they're predicting the trend is going to be rts but it's not necessarily right they're not necessarily right right they could be wrong i think it's an 80 percent chance they have it being right all right uh yeah you are just what we're looking for it's still this number is still going it goes down just below 13 then new ones come in and it goes back up it's just hovering around 13 percent doesn't appear to be going down as i add people though you'd think it would start going down here yeah that person was unlucky but i'm just trying to fill the room at this point all right so let's uh end automation after this one get the pre-release special marketing done I'm gonna assume i think it's safe to overhype this i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good game and not be right because i'm going on about how easy it is to good to get good rpgs and all that if the game might make a liar out of me it is possible i think it's unlikely but it's possible all right so there's what six weeks left so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do an rts i'm gonna hope <laughs> i'm gonna really hope that my uh the marketing team was correct uh but we will see all right and what's this at now eight million yeah it's getting there getting close and you we can put out yeah overhype didn't work but that's fine okay getting better with that sound no, only 96 that's I mean that's don't go me wrong 96 is good but it's not amazing so buy planes and tanks that is still on the market not for long by the time this comes out they'll be pretty much gone right so buy planes and tanks four triple a rts wait why why do we only have one star in this <laughs> how is it the fourth game when we only have one star i guess you only get a chance of getting a star i think but man i have not gotten lucky with the stars right what are they did this IP used or you know did it used to have a different name maybe anyway whatever we're it is what it is um yep yeah, put that more violent 47 to 50 that is a lot of features we are not putting in that purchase it in yeah leave those off please it's 1999 like What's the first game that had in-app purchases? Like, I know a lot of people, you know, would point to Scott, Horse Armor and Skyrim. But I know there was stuff before that, right? I know there were definitely, like, some MMOs. Like, not AAA studio MMOs that probably were the first, I feel like, to have in-app purchases. I know like EverQuest 2 went free to play pretty early and they had that stuff, but there had been like smaller studio MMOs that had been doing it before them, I'm pretty sure. This customer support team is still, are they slowly making progress? Rocket Puzzle 8 did pretty well, sold a lot of units. Space Invasion Defense is still going pretty strongly here. Let's throw one more update at it. Uh, oh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be on the cusp of ten million, and the summer slump's gonna hit. It's gonna drop sales, and I'm gonna be sad. 
yeah, they're making progress. They are making progress, the support team. Which is good, finally. Finally some progress. All right, so this add-on did not do much. I barely made money. I mean, it did make money, but <laughs> barely. Just barely. All right, so I, I hope RTS is the trend. Um, one week, that's going to change. Let's just do an update for now. Yeah, sequester seven. And then we'll bang through that commission work. Yeah, this is definitely slowly going down. But, I mean, I'm going to add fans, so eventually... I might as well just make the support room come all the way up to here now, because it's going to gonna need to go out there eventually, right? Um, all right, buy planes and tanks. All right, so RTS is the trend, which is good. Um, what else is popular right now? Sim? I haven't made a sim game in a long time. Let's make a simulation game. Old Blue Chair Flight Sim has been on the shelf for quite some time. Uh, yeah, the engine is still tech level 3. That kind of tells the story. Yep, it's been a while since I updated this engine. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's, ooh, yeah. it's been a long time. All right, did we do overhype yet? Let's do overhype. And then we will polish it until this engine is ready. And then we will ship it out. Overhype did not go through, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, what happened to Space Defense Force? Space Invasion Defense. Why the big drop? Oh, it's going to... Mm, it's just not going to hit 10 million this episode. Because that's what I want, right? I want it to hit 10 million. And it's like, nope. Sorry, not going to happen. Jerks. Jerks, I'm telling you. I expect this will be a pretty good game, though. Certainly hope so, anyway. <laughs> yeah, 96. 96 is solid. That's not a bad game. Uh, yeah, this console, it's under a million now, but it's still moving, you know, 900,000 a week, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, so Lucera Mini is going to pass... The Nintendo Game Portable in two weeks. And the Lucera Box Pro is going to pass them both before too long. It's going to come close to these, actually, surprisingly. All right, and that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.